What might we find on international wedding menus? Well, let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It's Memorial Day. Today we recognize those who have given their lives for our country. Yes. Now, did you know that this year there's expected to be a record number of acorns? Yep. I heard that this year it's going to be a bumper crop for acorns. What are they going to do with all these acorns? Weddings is what I was going to say, not acorns. Um, there may be a great year for for acorns, but it weddings. Is. It's going to be. Specifically this year, there's going to be 2.6 million weddings all over the globe, which begs the question, was this intentional? Was it coordinated? Is it all part of an elaborate plan engineered by an underground global network of brides and grooms who decided that no year numerically symbolizes the union of two lovers better than 2022, excluding 2222, since that's so dumb far away? I don't know, uh, but I'll beg a tastier question. What kind of food will they be serving at all these global weddings? Well, yeah, that's good. It's time for Where, Where in the World, world Do These International, international wedding, wedding Dishes Come From? from? Alright, we're gonna try some foods enjoyed as per tradition at weddings all around the world and pinpoint exactly where with our darts and then chase the ordained cartographer in all his grace. Hello there. Hello, thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here family and friends alike. I feel like a lot of you came from from some far-reaching places, you know? There's some people who really traveled far just to make it today. And on a holiday, no less, Memorial Day. Yeah, So yes. we appreciate all of that. Yeah. Uh, we're here for some very special, <laughs> special, <laughs> very special, you He's know, treat. He's really good at that. <laughs> where is your, like, where's your hat? Oh, yeah. Uh, you go get that. Hold okay, on, he doesn't yeah. need his hat, because he just, no. I mean, he's so convinced. It's kind of part of he, well, He's got the it collar. I see it, yeah. the cartography shirt under there. Yeah, cartography. Yeah, yeah, he's above. so convincing. Mm -hmm. I just feel like you need it. Okay. Um, All right, get the hat. All right, since you won last time, and I was so good with the advantage dart, you were. I get another advantage dart. This time it's the Heave Ho Bouquet Throw. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sure it will help me. Is it going to help you? Yeah. I'm sure it will help me so much. Whoever has the lowest score at the end wins, and will have the honor of hearing the loser read wedding vows to them in Good Mythical More. Will you take the first dish as our first dish? I do. I will. Oh, these are festive. Oh, that's like a soft jelly thing? I that's... thought it might be frozen, but it's not. No, it's... You like pelt the bride and groom with these, and they like try to catch them in their mouths, maybe? Yeah, exactly. What? Okay, so we got some sesame oh, seeds. Sesame on top. No, what's going on inside here? Look at that on the inside. Oh, is that an egg? Mm. What the crap is that? I don't an believe egg so. yolk? It doesn't taste anything like an egg yolk to me. That is an egg yolk, isn't it? No. I mean, it's exactly the size of an egg yolk. No, it's a pastry. It's sweet. It's a jelly ball, y'all. But I don't know what the yellow thing is. I don't either. It tastes pretty good, though. All right, now, since I won ne uh, not last time. <laughs> since you didn't win last time. That's, what, that's another way to say it. I go it. first. And this is a big occasion, because we brought everybody in today, but you know, just like you, you, you would for a wedding. That's right. We, invi we invited all of our special loved ones we got, to be here with us. We got my mom. Hey, Mom. Hi, boys. It's me, Brett's mama. I'm so happy to see your handsome faces again. Oh, oh good to see you too, that. Mom. We got my dad down here. Hey, Brett, it's me, your dad. We know. I heard you boys are eating some cheese today. Uh, no. Well, maybe. I don't know what's going to... Uh, actually, I don't know what's going to happen, Dad. Uh, isn't your dad here? Uh, dad, are you here too in the woods? I heard you boys were still telling dirty jokes. I got a few more up my sleeve. Oh, okay. Well, I can't wait for those. Glad that you're back, Dad. And uh, Chase, I understand that your dad's also here. Father? You know, I really love you, son. <laughs> wow. All he does is love you, doesn't he? Yeah. It, they're pretty much on theme, it seems like, you know? It's a family affair. You okay. Know, weddings we, do that. No reason to delay this. It's got a bunch of different colors. It's got sesame there on the inside. There's some sort of paste. You got coconut. You We're definitely in, Japan? in the in the Thailand, Vietnam, Vietnam Japan area, Southeast so Asia. Gonna, I'm just kind of kind of go over there. I'm just kind of you know just sort of get oh. in the middle there. Throwing it right around there. It has to be a Far East situation. You know whatever that gelatinous thing is. I mean, I just kind of played it safe. You I'm gonna could... say Vietnam specifically. Okay. All right. I'm gonna really give it a nice go. Wish me luck, Dad. What did Jesus do when Mary Magdalene tracked dirt through the house? Swept. 
Jesus wept. Jesus swept. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a I've, good one. Never gets old. One, Never gets old. You've told that one before. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's still good, though. Still appreciate not, it. That was not helpful. Oh, it was <laughs> The town in Tanzania. <laughs> I got to get it together. Okay, guys, you just had Bon Chouche, a colorful dessert made from rice and mung bean. Mung bean. Uh, That's it. Yes. Traditionally, they were packaged in a box made from pandan leaves and given to the bride's family by the groom. Today, they're enjoyed by wedding guests in Vietnam. Oh, dang that it. You were right. right with your guests, but bad with your time. Ah. You know, no two humans are perfect, but sometimes it's about finding the person who's differences balance you, right? Huh. And so you had a great guess, but a bad throw. And Link, you had 13. And Rhett, you had seven. <laughs> I really didn't have a segue to connect yeah, those yeah, two yeah. dots. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You sound, sound like a normal pastor. I, kinda, I, prepped it. <laughs> I honestly prepped it thinking Link would do a little worse. And then I could just be like, yeah, 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 right, yeah. Right, but you know, yeah. I appreciated it. Whoa. Oh, this is a whole pie. Holy moly, look at that thing. This it's is a savory. savory. I this thought it was like gonna be a, like an apple pie. Well, what is the um the flaky stuff called? Flaky flaky? Filo dough. Oh my gosh, that's good. It's meaty, but also sweet. Got some nuts in there. I like it. But it is a little bit um not a typical It's a melding of flavor combination. Flavors. I've got a guess. Do you know what else a melding of flavors is? What? A wedding. If you get two, two people, you, oh, you just, a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> just, you, okay. You just combine and, a you know, relational melding. Tex, you might be able to do somebody's wedding after this. After all the practice you're getting right Before now. Before you change. I mean, I wonder what your dad thinks about that. I heard you talking in your sleep again last night. <laughs> yes, I do think you should apply to be the next bachelor. <laughs> Uh, turkey, Link, is my guess. Uh, the phyllo dough, and then the combination of flavors and the inclusion of almonds. Not too sweet. Turkey. Oh, Not up a great into the throw, right. But. Now, yeah, it could be turkey. I mean, it could be Morocco. You know what? I think it is turkey. There's no getting around it. Okay, well, get closer than I did. Get closer to the board? No, no, get closer on your, with your throw. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I think I was a little further yeah, away from maybe. turkey. Was it turkey? You just had pastilla, a sweet and savory pot pie filled with seasoned shredded chicken beneath mm -hmm. layer after layer of flaky pastry. It's one of the many celebratory dishes served at weddings in Morocco. Oh, oh man, dang, you were right, man. It. I gotta listen to my inner voice. Oh, it's so good. Come on, Dad, you gotta help me out when stuff like that happens. Why did the astrophysicist go digging in the dirt? I don't know. I can't remember this one. He was looking for wormholes. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that, that one. Got a little, you got a little tickled on that one. Because he laughed at himself. <laughs> wormholes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, please be seated. <laughs> That's good, Chase. That one's good. I got Chris. <laughs> All right, Link, you at 14, Rhett, 19. Oh. Ooh, yeah, that, I won that round. You did, you did. Now, this is some, some like fluorescent spaghetti, man. I don't think it's a spaghetti. Noodles? Definitely just noodles. Oh, it's cold. Hey, Dad, this looks a lot like cheese, you know? How come there's man Chigo cheese, but no woman Chigo cheese? I don't know. I never thought about that. Except the last time you said the same joke. <laughs> Dad's Mom, a really Mom, what's up with Dad just saying the same things? Did you hear the news? Dockers are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> they all just seem to be saying only what they want to say. They're right. like in their own world. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a very sweet noodle. Noodle. I have a guess, again. Very desserty. Now, is Rhett still winning? I'm winning by one centimeter, so oh, unfortunately yeah. I still have to go first. So close, I love it, I love it. Um, I'm thinking Thailand here, and the reason I'm thinking Thailand is because mm. it's taking what I think is an egg noodle, which you would see, I don't know much about noodles, but it reminds me of the noodles that you would see in Pad Thai, which I'm assuming is from Thailand because of the Thai part of Pad Thai. But then it's like a sweet 
treat like you were getting at. So yeah. I think this is, as, your, as Charles would say, Thailand. Isn't that what you would say? I sure am a dirty boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm, yeah. Only dirty boys call it Thailand. Thailand. Oh. Go. <laughs> See, I know what that feels like. Oh, horrible. Frustration. Horrible. Horrible. Frustration. Leaving yep. the door open for you there. I right? have been to Thailand and returned to aim for it. That's This has got to be Thailand. Time to take the lead. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like my dart is pulling your dart. Sucking mine into yours, You are man. closer, though, which means you got to go first next time. Oh, you My think, plan worked. So you think we're right. Okay. You dirty boys just ate foy tong, a dessert made from egg yolks and sugar syrup. The effort required to make them represents the effort required to maintain a healthy marriage, while the long threads symbolize everlasting love. Ooh. You'll find brides and grooms enjoying this dish in Thailand. Yes, Thailand. Thailand. She says, oh, she Thailand. You have a whole different way of saying uh, it. Well, because I was going to say Thailand, but then I was like, no, I've done that too many times. So yep. that's what that's what happened. Thailand. Yeah. Now, before I announce these two scores, does anyone object <laughs> to me announcing these two scores? I mean, no. I'd like to get another throw, but uh, nope. I don't think I get to do that. All right, Link, you had eight, Rhett, 11. Yes. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is such a tight race. You've taken the lead. You may have noticed my shirt. Yeah. Did you notice that it was an homage to one of the founding hip hop groups of all time? Yes. Public Enemy, but Peanut Butter Eyes. Yeah, you yeah. can get this peanut butter shirt at mythical.com. And also, if you want to know what the best peanut butters are, well, we can give you that information over at sport.com, as well as reading about why pancakes are even better than sleeping pills. What For what, sleeping? You'll have to read about yeah. it, sport.com. The team over there is adding new taste test rankings every day to the site, along with food news and thought-provoking articles. Sport.com and mythical.com for peanut butter. All right? All right. This is a nice looking soup hmm. with um, a little bit of that meatball. meatball. There's some chicken, there's some asparagus, there's some, some carrots and some tofu. All right, Link, you're taking the lead, so you have to go first. That is nice. Except for the tofu, this is just like a nice beefy stew. A beefy nice meatball beefy stew. stew. Where could this be? I mean, are we... It just doesn't feel like Japan. I we, just, we've got all these, you know, all these parents here to help us out. They thinking anything to help Link out? Don't all speak at once. Well then. Green <laughs> 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 tea makes me laugh. It's like, it's like a horror movie. <laughs> all right, Link. Crap. <laughs> See the the. The tofu of it all is really throwing me off. Well, I'm gonna go for Japan. They're not afraid of some tofu over there. <sighs> oh gosh, down there in Vietnam again. Th this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we're, we're so close right now um, and you have to cheat in the final round. So it's like you have a huge advantage and I have to, I have to make a choice. So I'm actually torn between Japan and Turkey because of the tofu, but there's, like you said, I don't know if this is tofu. It's so bread-like. Like, it's so porous. I'm going all the way to Germany. Oh, dang, son. And thinking that this is like some version of tofu that's like called something else it in Europe. It might be cheese. Is it cheese? It's definitely not cheese. Uh, so I think it's Germany just because if you take out the, the tofu type thing and you just got this like warm soup. Yeah, man. You would think you were Mind in your way or are you in my way? Germany. Oh, oh, that's a nice shot. Woo, it's anybody's game at this point. You just had hakzaitsupe, oh. a chicken broth-based soup that typically consists of chicken meat, meatballs, asparagus, egg custard. Egg custard. Carrots and celery, and it's typically the first course to be served at weddings in Germany. Oh, dang it, seriously? Yeah, but the thing is- Egg custard. That wasn't a very good throw. It looks like- Wasn't a very good Tofu. Throw. All right, I'd like you to take a look around the room. You've invited these people here because they mean something to you. For the rest of your life, these people will help you on your journey. It's not just you two by yourselves. Right. Uh, so, Rhett, you had eight. You got lucky, I feel like. What? No, man. I, I said it might not be tofu. Germany, man. And Link, 36. 
Oh. Even the name I thought sounded Japanese for a second. <laughs> I thought it sounded German. <laughs> oh man, we've got a blooming gourd. Look yeah. at that. I mean, what's going on here? We've got some rice mm. situation. It's a um, squash. You can pull it's this thing sweet, apart. Sweet rice. Yeah, typically this is made with a pumpkin, but uh, since pumpkins are out of season, we used a comparable squash. A comparable squash. It's a, that's very tasty. Yeah, I like it. It could be anywhere on the board. This is a, this is a free for all round, mystery round. You've got this incredible advantage. Well, yeah, I do. Got it right here. Interesting. Heave ho bouquet throw. So anywhere that pink splatters is your guess. This is it's a like mystery pink, round. Pink wedding cake icing all over this bouquet. So it's a mystery round, so it's not labeled up there. This is the weird thing about this, is that rice dishes, you're gonna get those uh, in the Far East, but you're also gonna get those in Latin America, which is very perplexing for me because I'm up by a good amount, but you've got this advantage. I kind of have to make a choice as right or left. I have been to a restaurant that was Mexico City style restaurant that had, they had rice that had like fruit in it like this. Okay. So I think this might be, Mexico is up there, so it's not Mexico. So I've, I think it might be on the left side of the board, but I'm gonna kind of play in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, just in case it happens to be Europe. But I'm kind of giving the Eastern part of the world to you and your guests. Yeah. It wasn't very good. It was very high. I'm very high today. <sighs> Let's see. So when I toss this thing, whoever whoever catches it is gonna get married next. Mm -hmm. All right, parents, you got any, a pep talk for me? Anything? Anything to help me out? Watch your pants. Lady, Did you ever find you think pants? I think some Dockers <laughs> Premium Heritage <laughs> Chinos would do you good. I mean, Diane's voice red. just cuts right through everybody else. <laughs> I love it. Dockers. Where do you think it is? I think this is a, a Middle Eastern situation. So you hedge your bets well, but I am going to throw the crap out of this so that I can get some sort of splatter because I have to, I got to spread this thing out. Go right for the, I'm basically going around the tea in Turkey, you know what I'm saying? And it's, <laughs> Hup! Oh, dang it, I went low again. You did knock my dart out. Of How does it, it's so frustrating to be me sometimes. Like, I know it's frustrating to watch me be Oh, but me. look, look, you got pink on the- uh, It's just like- The peninsula there. Yeah, I, I try oh. too hard when I shouldn't, no, but and I don't all, try hard enough when no, I should. But, no, look at all the pink you got. You got pink in Eastern Europe, you got pink in the Middle East. There's a little bit but right But you need there. to take my dart and put it back where I had it in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Well, I, it doesn't get What am I doing getting up? 50. I'm not the pastor, I'm not the priest. I'm not whatever you clergy are. I love you boys, almost as much as I love Dockers. Yeah, I, I love you. You know I really love you, son. <laughs> I love Okay, you just had Gao Pama, AKA a pumpkin that's been gutted, stuffed with rice, nuts, and dried fruits, and then baked until soft. This dish symbolizes a sweet life, which is why it's commonly served during the Christmas season and at weddings in Armenia. Okay, so I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in a good spot, but I just, in my mind. All right, repeat after me. I ret. I ret. Take these 22 centimeters. Take these 22 centimeters. As my final score. As my final score. And then link, I link. I link. Take these seven centimeters. Take these seven centimeters. As my final score. As my final score. Which doesn't do enough. Doesn't do enough. Sometimes weddings don't take. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> For my birthday, my friends gave me a bunch of old dirt. <laughs> I told them, I appreciate the sediment. <laughs> nice deflection, Charles. I was kind of just hoping for a for a for a yes. I don't know if we're going to invite our uh, I, our I, family back. You know, yeah, it's been great having time. you be a part of this thing, guys. But um, I, I think we might be good for a while. I don't no, think so. Sorry. Oh. They're not happy about it. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey, Chase, Link, and Rhett. Good morning from Lake Okeechobee. I'm Martine. I'm Steve. And it's time to spin the wheel. wheel.
Memorial of Mythicality. Should I start with Chase? I like that. Yeah, Chase Dan. I didn't like it. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us discover the origin story behind popular wedding traditions and good mythical boy. And about where the will of mythicality is going. You want to know the best tortilla chips for dipping anything? Or the best gluten free breads? Or the best spicy chips? Well, head on over to sport.com.